I previously talked about this in my headphone mastery guide, but decided to make a video dedicated to this topic as an easy to find resource for people and hopefully to better spread the message that quote unquote frequency response is not actually what you are calling it or frequency response. So the problem is that people are calling magnitude response frequency response. Funnily enough, if you ask ChatGBT, can frequency response be determined by magnitude response alone? No, the frequency response of a system cannot be determined solely by its magnitude response. The frequency response of a system describes how it responds to different frequencies of an input signal. It consists of both magnitude and phase components. The magnitude response provides information about how the system's gain or attenuation varies with frequency. It tells us the relative strength or weakness of the output signal compared to the input signal at different frequencies. However, it does not provide any information about the phase shift introduced by the system at each frequency. The phase response, on the other hand, describes the amount of phase shift introduced by the system at different frequencies. It tells us the relative timing or delay between the input and output signals at each frequency. The phase response is crucial for understanding the complete frequency response of a system especially in cases where phase distortion or time delays are important factors. Therefore, to fully characterize the frequency response of a system, both the magnitude response and phase response need to be considered. It is cool how for simpler topics like these, ChatGPT is 100% correct. Like, there are zero flaws in anything ChatGPT said right here, and literally Google this yourself. Can frequency response be described by amplitude alone? And you'll find out the answer is no. ChatGPT gives 100% correct answer on this one. For the complete novices here, the blue line is what you'll commonly see for an earphone when you look up the frequency response. This is for the immune drop variations, but the blue line is actually just the magnitude response or amplitude response of the system. We also need the dotted red line here, which is the phase response. An additional detail is that the minimum phase response shows the phase response of the system should the delay at each frequency be zero. With that, you can get the excess phase response. In general, the response from earphone will be minimum phase at the eardrum, and for headphones, the response will also be mostly minimum phase, but it will stop being minimum phase at earlier frequencies than for an earphone. The reason I think this is important to point out is because people often ask, you know, if two earphones have the same frequency response, will they sound the same? But they themselves don't understand what frequency response actually is, so you can have two earphones with exactly the same amplitude response, but have one with inverted polarity, for example, where the phase response would be shifted 180 degrees, and you would get something that sounds different from the correct polarity version because of the difference in the phase response. I find it sad how people like Super Review from Squig.link, you know, the people from Headphone Show, then Critical, pretend to care about the betterment of audio understanding or audio science, but continue to say frequency response for magnitude response and fail to mention obvious things like absolute polarity and phase response, so I do think it is a bit disingenuous, and I really hope people become more educated and use correct terminology so more people in the future don't get confused and, you know, we actually do move forward in terms of audio understanding. I'd like to give a shout out to Yuli, Felix, Malbill, Christopher Yu, The RFL Reaper, Tripped, Minolos, Gabby D, Fofo, Unil, Connor, Tons, Yuris, Kun, Injikoma 3, Dimas, Bring Us, Castle 4141, Vsauce 4, Wood Acre, Snivery, Tripped One Skin, and Base Gamer. Thank you guys a lot for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Be sure to join the Apple House and Discord server if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.